Welcome to WMW's weekly newscast, bringing you the global waste management headlines. Coming up, CSB video highlights the risk of dust explosions in recycling facilities, Green Investment Bank highlights UK capacity gap, and China leads growth in global waste to energy markets. In the US, the Chemical Safety Board has concluded its investigation into an explosion and fire at the AL Solutions Metal Recycling Facility in New Cumberland, West Virginia. The cause of the explosion, which killed three employees, was found to be combustible dust. The CSB this week published a video detailing the cause of the fatal incident, along with recommendations on how to prevent such a scenario occurring. The accident at AL Solutions is one of nine serious combustible dust incidents investigated by the CSB since 2003. These explosions and fires caused 36 deaths and 128 injuries. Most solid organic materials, as well as many metals, will explode if the particles are small enough and they're dispersed in a sufficient concentration within a confined area near an ignition source. Even seemingly small amounts of accumulated combustible dust can cause catastrophic damage. At AL Solutions, scrap titanium and zirconium metal was milled and blended, creating a metal powder that was pressed into dense disks called compacts. A metal blender used to process zirconium was having mechanical problems that had not been adequately repaired. As a result, the blender was producing heat or sparks due to metal-to-metal -metal contact. Around 1.20 p.m. on December 9, 2010, a spark or hot spot from the blender likely ignited the zirconium powder inside. The resulting flash fire lofted the metal dust particles in the blender, forming a burning metal dust cloud. The cloud ignited other combustible dust within the production building, causing a secondary explosion that ripped through the plant, killing three workers and injuring a contract employee. The UK's Green Investment Bank has published a market report forecasting a gap between the volume of post-recycled waste being produced and the treatment capacity available to process it of up to 7.7 .7 million tonnes by 2020. The report, produced in partnership with Tolvik Consulting, sets out the investment opportunity in the UK waste market. According to the authors, closing the gap will require around £5 billion worth of investment in new energy recovery facilities by 2020. If this happened, the bank claimed that enough additional electricity would be produced to power 1 million homes. The report added that there needs to be an emphasis in the UK on treating commercial and industrial waste. It also cautioned that it is important that new facilities only process genuinely residual waste and are carefully sized to avoid competition with local recycling efforts. China remains a driver for growth in the waste to energy market, but other emerging markets in Asia are also developing, according to a new report from environmental analysts Ecoprog. The report found that demand in Europe will only increase in the medium term, but that globally around 500 new plants will be built over the coming decade. According to the analysts, the global waste incineration capacity has already increased by more than 25% over the past five years. China alone was said to be currently constructing around 30 new waste to energy plants every year. However, thermal recovery was also found to be becoming a more realistic waste treatment option in other regions, such as India, the Middle East, Malaysia, Vietnam and Indonesia. For WMW, I'm Ben Messenger. Thanks for watching.